This heavyweight contest is scheduled for five three-minute rounds, and it's brought to you by Buy Sell Clothing. Our referee in charge when the bell rings, Brandon Hughes. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the black trunks with silver trim, he stands six feet, one inch tall. He weighed in at 234.6 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of one win versus no defeats and one draw. And he fights out of Ottawa, Scotland, Eric the Viking Maida. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the trunks on with the flag of the United States of America. He stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 243.2 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of seven wins, six defeats, two disqualifications. And he fights out of Levittown, Long Island, New York, Eric Bladax Olsen. Heavyweight fight scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Touch the corner. Touch the corner, guy. Blue, you ready? Man, you ready? Here we go. Black trunks with the American flag for Eric Olsen. Black trunks for the Viking. Eric Maida trying to use a long reach early. Olsen looking to roll under. He told us, Paulie, that he really doesn't train his striking per se. He spends a lot of time with the gi in BJJ and a lot of time in Scotland wrestling and that's where he gets his great conditioning. Stop. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and you can see he has that conditioning, but he also has an, an ability to be very relaxed in there. That also helps his conditioning when you're not tight and when you're not too excited in there. You know, he told us he likes Maida, and you're gonna say, how does a guy like Long Island find in common with a guy from Scotland? Well, Olsen lives in Scotland that's too, right. so maybe they know each other from training, who knows? I, I said, Dada, I said, you got a, a, a guy who was born in Poland who lives in Scotland, you have a Long Islander who now lives in Scotland who came all the way here to Mississippi to fight. Well, you know, it goes back to what you said, one of those uh, 43 personalities. <laughs> like Paulie just said, he's really cool, oh, calm, God. and collective inside there right now. And this is the third Bare knuckle fight for Eric Maida, but the first in the Trigon. Stop! Third time in the Trigon for Eric Olsen. Nice jab there for Stop. Olsen. Yep. And he's trying to play that physical mind game. Pick it up Maida, trying to show his physical strength. He was very relaxed when we saw him in Dubai, and there's that long jab right on cue. Speaking of Jeb, I mean, Maida with the long reach, I'm surprised I haven't, we haven't seen more of that from Maida himself as well. Two big, strong heavyweights. Something you can relate to, Dada. 100%, you know, it just takes one clean punch from either one of these guys and his lights out. See, Maida again, he fainted with it, but he didn't throw it. And you see Olsen enters again behind the Jeb, and now they wind up in a clinch again. Eric Olsen told us that the respect is there for Maida. He's big, he's strong. But what Eric is looking to do is exactly what we're seeing here early. Drown him, if you will, in the clinch. Lean on him, be heavy, take away the cardio and the quickness and the snap, and then box. I tell you what else he's doing, though, Goldie. He's landing a few good left hands on the sneak on the inside, uh, on the way in. You're starting to see the marks on the right cheek of, of Maida now. A little clash of heads there. A clash of heads, and that created space for Maida to be able to land that uppercut. Maida loves the overhand right, left hook. He said the left hook is his power shot. 15 seconds on the clock here in round number one. You see some of that, that right cheek a little bit swollen on the part of Maida there. You know, Blood X definitely came inside here with a game plan. Yep. We'll see just how long it takes Eric, you know, to catch on and then adjust. Ah, wow. The Eric with a Y and a K. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Round one in the books. Get 
use that jab. Okay, use your reach. So if that's pretty well, man, but you just always need to remember to just break out that jab. Get him set for round number two, still to come. Another heavyweight matchup in our co-main event of the evening. Very excited to see Ike Villanueva make his bare knuckle debut against Matt Kovacs. And then our title fight, the rematch between Monica Medina and the champion, Patty Juarez. Round two, Olsen and Maida. Quick punch landed by Eric Maida to start this second round. And you like to see more jabs from Maida. He's the taller guy. He's not really using it. He's trying, fainting his way in there. It's sort of even when he tried to use it right there, he's pushing it out instead of snapping it out. And that's why he ends up in these clenches here. But in these clenches, Maida's trying to keep Olsen busy. Just behind the head. Stop! Olsen oh, doing oh, some oh. smothering. Which no doubt is definitely a part of his game plan. I think something might get confused. You see the little hard headlock here. Stop. I think that right. the little tricks there is Olsen uses to try to fatigue his opponent as well. 115th official combat confrontation tonight for Eric Olsen and Maida. Able to score the knockdown here in the second, and something happened to Eric Olsen's shoulder. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine. He might have popped ten. it out. It might be over. Yeah. And it is. Yeah. Oh. I saw him rubbing it after the last yeah. clinch and the left shoulder injury of Olsen, but take nothing away from that man right here. The Viking, victorious in his BYB debut. Yeah, that last exchange looked like Maida also got a cut on, on his right eye. We well, see a little bit more aggression on the part of Maida in this round and ended up opening some things up for him. Unfortunately, Olsen got the injury, but also Maida with a little bit more aggression, you know, trying to step to Olsen a little bit more. And, uh, you know, sometimes one thing will create something else that you didn't expect. And here, in this case, seems like an injury. No doubt, you know, Olsen. when you're seeing them come out for the second round, obviously his coach is you know, they do what coaches do when he came out of here just, you know, and uh, fortunately for him, he came out aggressive and he made Olsen switch his game plan up. Sorry to say he got the injury. I wanted to see more. Eric Maida, very, very polite and professional fighter. He has trained in all forms of striking. And let's see if we can pinpoint where the injury might have happened. See there, you see what I mean by... Maida, he's trying to force action even on the inside. Olsen is smothering. Maida continues to enforce a physical play action, you know, and see there, yeah. Do you see, his, it, it's almost as if his arm went numb at the end of that exchange. Yeah, but you see he's trying to grab. It might have been even in trying to ah, grab something there. He there. got punched right underneath. Yep. Put this short on this angle. Yeah, even there, right there, I think already. There was something underneath. Yes. Yeah, they, they went, I think the shot came up and, and might have moved the joint again. I ain't a doctor, man, but you can see the re, the reaction Olsen gives. He kind of almost turns completely to the side and then goes down a, 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 maybe a second later. You see it start to bother him when that shot was thrown by Maida. I don't even know if it landed, but it might have actually shifted something on the inside, some kind of, of uh, joint, shoulder joint. Well, Maida with the win to make it official Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Brandon Hughes calls a stop to this contest at 59 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by TKO, Eric the Viking, Maida. Good job by Maida to stay yeah. focused, stay concentrated, you know. Olsen can have a little bit of a frustrating style. Eric Maida, welcome to America. Welcome to the Trigon, and you walk away with a victory, even though maybe not the ending that you wanted, but how do you feel coming after that win? I feel great, you know, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for welcoming me, welcoming me, so, so, I was, man, it's a different experience, it's amazing, amazing to be here, amazing, I'm so grateful for the opportunity, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. Now, I mean, again, not the preferred ending for you. You never want an ending or a fight to end with an injury, but quick night for you. But in the rounds that we saw you, you definitely were the aggressor. You had some flurry combinations. Did you know coming in that he was going to clinch a lot and that you have to create space and land the shots where you could from a distance with your height? You know what? It was very something new to me. When someone like gets your head in a headlock, 
as you like drag you down. It's different. It's not allowed over in the UK. Well, we see the rules are different here. Well, it's still fine. Maybe not. You know what? No, nah, I wouldn't change anything. It was great. So you like you like because the clinch fighting is unique to BYB, but beyond just the trigon, you like that clinch fighting. Oh, it's not like I like it, but as <laughs> what is. Now, the Trigon in general, this close quarter area, small service and combat sports, did you like that? I loved that, yes. We liked that smile, we know you loved it. I'm sure you have a lot of friends, family watching you from all over the world, anything that you want to say to them? Yes, I love you, my mom, dad, my brother, my amazing girlfriend, her daughter, Eva, I love you all. I can't wait to be back home with you. And yeah, that's it. Well, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your winner, Eric the Viking, Mida.